This morning, Attorney General Maura Healey officially announced she was running for governor of Massachusetts. And as WBZ's Anna Myler reports, Healey says her campaign will focus on the economy and bringing the community together. I am proud to announce that I'm running to be governor of Massachusetts. Maura Healey making it official outside the Maverick Square tea stop where she greeted supporters with elbow bumps. This is her first campaign stop after releasing an announcement video early this morning. I've stood with you as the people's lawyer and now I'm running to be your governor to bring us together and come back stronger than ever. Healy was a political unknown when she pulled off a surprise win in 2014 and was elected the first openly gay attorney general in the country. She has gained national name recognition by suing corporate giants and tackling causes important to the progressive left. Whether it's taking on Purdue Pharma and the Sacklers, going after ExxonMobil and the fossil fuel industry, taking on the NRA. Healy says if elected governor, she will work to make child care more affordable, tackle climate change, and priority number one, getting the economy back on track. To issues of workforce development and job training, it gets to issues of child care, which is fundamental, especially to getting women back to the workforce. Healy was asked how she will handle the ongoing pandemic, and when pressed on whether remote learning should be an option, she responded, I think we've got to continue to be guided by what's happening in terms of rates of infection. And, you know, that has to be the guiding principle here. The 50 year old joins the Democratic primary field that includes Harvard professor Danielle Allen and state senator Sonia Chang Diaz. Jeff Deal, a former state rep, is the only Republican in the race. I've had hard races before, and I intend to campaign as I've done with every other race, and that is to work my tail off every day. Healy already has a campaign war chest of more than three and a half million dollars. 500,000 of that was raised in December after Charlie Baker announced he would not be running for re-election. Reporting in East Boston, Anna Myler, WBZ News.